grease. It's not something we think about unless we're scrubbing away at a dirty pan. But we need to pay a little more attention to it. We know that grease can clog our pipes. Many people send hot water down the drain after it, hoping to push it through their pipes before it solidifies. But what happens to it then? Grease, along with all other wastewater, is transported by underground pipes to our wastewater treatment plants. But much of the grease never makes it to the treatment plants. It usually gets caught in the sewer pipes and lift stations along the way. Lift stations are large pumps that move sewage uphill. The pumps must receive continual maintenance to ensure reliable operation and remove this grease buildup. Grease is a major problem at our lift stations. It accumulates on our floats, chains, pumps, our sidewalls and our lift stations, which is a costly expense to the city to get this thing cleaned out. The accumulation of grease within sanitary sewer lines increases the potential for sewer blockages, and these blockages can result in sanitary sewer overflows. When sanitary sewers overflow, untreated sewage is released into the environment and can impact our streams and lakes. Blockages may also cause wastewater to back up into businesses or homes, which can cause extensive damage. Cameras placed in sewer lines reveal blockages from kitchen grease. Rotter and Vactor truck operators are responsible for clearing the blocked lines. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency require all cities to take measures to protect sanitary sewer collection and treatment systems to prevent harmful sanitary sewer overflows. Grease is discharged to the sanitary sewer system from restaurants, residential kitchens, and any other place that handles food. Residents are asked to properly dispose of grease by using the following methods. Pour grease into a disposable container and deposit into the garbage. Be careful when handling grease or containers of grease because they could be hot. Use a spatula to scrape food particles from dishes and pans into the trash before washing to eliminate as many sources of grease as possible. Fats, oils, and grease can be managed effectively in the food service industry to minimize the discharge to the sewer system and decrease the required maintenance of grease retention units. Best management practices, such as kitchen cleaning and grease handling techniques, are used throughout the industry and have proven effective when implemented properly and consistently. To comply with the policy, restaurants and other food service establishments are required to install and maintain a grease trap or grease interceptor. All grease traps and grease interceptors must be maintained for continuous, satisfactory, and effective operation by the owner, leaseholder, or operator at his expense. In addition, no grease signs are required above all kitchen sinks, on dishwashers, and near other grease discharge outlets to serve as a constant reminder for employees to properly dispose of grease. The policy also requires documented training for employees about the problems created by grease in the sanitary sewer system, possible violations and fines, and the cost of cleaning clogged pipes. Even a small amount of grease on each pot, pan, or plate can be substantial when hundreds of meals are served per day. The following procedures must be covered in employee training. Dry wipe or scrape food particles from pots, pans, and dishes into the trash prior to washing. Wash pots, pans, and dishes in sinks that flow to grease retention devices attached to the sanitary sewer. When cleaning hood filters, remove filters and wipe or scrape off as much grease as possible. Dispose of grease by recycling or placing in the garbage can. Wash hood filters with hot water, less than 140 degrees, in sinks that flow to grease retention devices attached to the sanitary sewer. Hood filters should be cleaned on a monthly basis. Sweep up food debris and discard in the trash, using the water hose as a broom and washing debris from the floor into the floor drains is strictly prohibited. Never pour grease down any drain. Flushing hot grease down any drain or pouring grease into any grease retention unit is strictly prohibited. All waste grease should be placed in a grease disposal container for pickup by a grease recycling or disposal company. If an indoor grease trap is used, the following employee training is also required. Location, purpose, and function of grease trap. Proper cleaning of grease trap, point of use grease trap cleaning procedures. Inspection of grease trap, filter, baffles, and tea. Proper disposal of grease from grease trap. If grease traps are more than 50% full when cleaned, the cleaning frequency needs to be increased. Proper written documentation of grease trap cleaning. 
If an outdoor grease interceptor is used, a manager or supervisor should witness and verify grease interceptor cleaning and maintenance activities by private service contractors to ensure the devices are being maintained and are operating properly. To request additional copies, or if you would like to have someone do an educational presentation or a workshop, call the Grease Hotline 